Hi, my name is Callum. I'm an assistant virologist at BioBest Laboratories. I'm going to be explaining IFA testing. IFA stands for immunofluorescence assay. Uh, it's a common test we use here to detect disease in cats and dogs. In particular, one of the frequent ones we use is for toxoplasma. There are two main types of immunofluorescence assay, one being direct and the other is indirect. Direct IFAs use a fluorescently labelled antibody which directly detects the antigen in the sample. So an indirect IFA is detecting an antibody using a anti-species fluorescently labelled antibody. One of the most common IFA tests we use here is for toxoplasma. This is where the antigen is fixed to the slide and we then add the sample to the slide. Uh, any antibodies in the sample will bind to the antigen and um, we then wash off the slide and add a fluorescently labelled anti-species antibodies. These then bind to any antibodies that are bound to the antigen which are attached to the slide. After a further incubation we then wash again and fix the slide to a cover slip and we then view it under UV light in the fluorescence microscope. Viewing the sample under the UV light, we look for a specific fluorescence, which will indicate whether the sample is positive or negative for toxoplasma. We use direct IFAs mainly as a final step in the virus neutralization test. An example of this is in the rabies test, where the virus doesn't produce any CPE in cell culture. In a direct IFA, a fluorescently labelled antibody is added to cell culture in which we will then look for specific fluorescence. So here at BioBest we have the skills and facilities to produce our own IFA plates and slides. These are for sale either via our website or by contacting our office.